whether it's accidental or inadvertent. I gave the two options, sir. Ask, please allow me to answer the, ask the question. I'll allow you to answer. Whether it's accidental or inadvertent, if the shrink to fit 19 inch ballot has to be duplicated, once it's duplicated, would it be tabulated? To your understanding. There are two technical ways that that image would be there. None of the ways you exist, Sorry, it's Honor, not I'm even not, possible. That's it's not responsive, Your Honor. I understand what you're saying, Mr. Freak. That's not responsive to his question. If you are able to answer his question. That's the judge. You can do that. Sir, are you able to answer the question? I'm unable to answer your question. Okay. He's unable to answer the question. That's the guy who is supposed to convince the world that somehow Kerry Lake actually won the gubernatorial uh, election in uh, Arizona. Uh, his job was to tell the court, very simple, this is not that difficult, that somehow the ballots were rigged and that Kerry Lake's votes uh, weren't tabulated, weren't counted because there were printing errors, for example, and other errors. So the obvious question is, can this guy make his case? So they bring this guy, he's the expert, all he has to do is, you know, the judges allowed him to get up there and see if they can make the case. W was he able to make the case for the fact that because there may have been some ballots that were different, uh, for example, there were ballots that were affected in the printing uh, mechanism because they were lighter than other ballots, which, by the way, happens in my printer in my house a million times, and I imagine, you know, so what? But whatever, they made that a big deal. And also, there was an argument made that somehow somebody had touched the settings in one of the printers, and the size of the ballot print was smaller in some of them than it was in others, which, by the way, there's an argument whether that really even happened or not. But let's just suppose that it did. Suppose the printer affected the, 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 the denseness, the darkness of the uh, printed ballots, right? And suppose that somehow some were smaller than others. Fine. We'll, we'll, we'll mitigate that. We'll take that as a given, as they say in the court. Does that mean it was done with the purpose or did that somehow change the tabulation? Does it mean that those ballots, for example, were rejected, that they were never counted, that they disappeared? Does it mean that somebody did that on purpose? That's what this whole thing was about, right? So is he able to make the case? No. In fact, watch this again. This is the crux of the matter. This is the question and the answer that this whole thing comes down to. This is the expert making the case, and he's asked the question, did this affect the tabulation? Did this affect the vote? Play it again. Whether it's accidental or inadvertent. I it gave the two like, options, sir. Ask, please allow me to answer the, ask the question. I'll allow you to answer. Whether it's accidental or inadvertent, if the shrink to fit 19 inch ballot has to be duplicated, once it's duplicated, would it be tabulated? To your understanding. There are two technical ways that that image would be there. None of the ways you exist, Sorry, it's Honor, not I'm even not, possible. That's it's not responsive, Your Honor. I understand what you're saying, Mr. Freak. That's not responsive to his question. If you are able to answer his question, you can do that. Sir, are you able to answer the question? I'm unable to answer your question. Hey, if you can't answer the question, you got nothing. You got nothing. The only reason they're having this, the judge has already thrown out eight other counts, which he said were absolutely ridiculous, but he said, let's go ahead and have a hearing on this one question about whether somehow the print uh, of the ballots and the shape of the ballots affected or maybe even purposely affected this campaign because somebody wanted those to be thrown out so Lake couldn't win. So let's have that question answered. Bring your expert. Let's see what he says. And he says, I can't answer that question. So what the hell you got, man? You got nothing, right? Which is essentially what the judge has agreed to. And the judge has essentially said, as you all probably know by now, but I wanted to just make this as simple as you can because sometimes these legal things have a tendency to get a little highfalutin, you know? I think, I, I think we need to be very uh, concrete in how we describe this so that everybody knows exactly what happened here. They couldn't bring the evidence. 
which is what the judge says. The judge has now said there is no evidence. There is no evidence. And lacking evidence, we can't move forward with this. Mrs. Lake, you lose. That's just the way it is. You lose. And by the way, not Republicans in Arizona are coming forward. Here's the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors Chairman Bill Gates has just come out, and he says himself, Republican now, Republican in Arizona says this decision by the judge is a win for Arizona voters and for American democracy. And to boot, because of the nature of the way these charges or this, this lawsuit was brought, Carrie Lake and her team are now being asked to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in court costs to boot. Just thought you'd want to know. I'm Rick Sanchez. I do something called the Rick Sanchez Podcast. Check it out if you get a chance. Happy to be doing this, by the way, for uh, Rebel HQ and for uh, my friends at uh, TYT. I'll be looking for you on the Rick Sanchez Podcast at Agua Media. Dale.